hitboxes to deal with Greninja. You can wall him out very well. Yeah, and also you have a lot of faster uh, out of shield options uh, to sort of pr uh, punish these um, uh, those bears and those back airs on shield. And already 86% on Copter, really struggling to find an opening. Almost 100% and nothing on Murph so far. It's just this cloud clearly just an amazing option as Greninja has kind of stubby hitboxes, can't really get yeah. in that well. And especially against a character with such a big disjoint. Oh yeah, that 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 sword is just absolutely insane. But Dash Attack gonna be able to find it. Only 13% on Murph, practically a zero to death. Yeah, and I mean, I listen, I am a very big proponent of the big sword. I play Cloud myself, this character is exceptionally good at spacing out these characters with smaller hitboxes that are not disjointed. And we are seeing that to the fullest extent as Murph only has 58% on him. And Dr. Copters, he's bouncing around him, but Murph is not getting mixed up. Murph is just playing very well, keeping it very tight, and that's what you need whenever you want to make it out of these pools. And I gotta say, I'm very surprised that Dr. Copter did not go for a Hydro Pump whenever Murph was just falling. Yeah. He was in free fall and he did not Hydro Pump. He was very confident. Tries on. to go for that drag down back air into the down smash, but doesn't quite get the punish there. There he goes, gets that back air into that down smash. Now Dr. Copter just trying to create some space, slowly find this opening with the water shurikens, but sadly gonna get dash attacked in the process, not gonna lose the stock. And here, this could be the start of something huge, but not finding the second up air. Yeah, Murph struggling to get off of this platform here, as we see a lot of damage just being racked up by Copter here, but still at 114 himself. Now Murph is trying to find a way to take this second stock here. Might be able to find it, but getting F-tilted when trying to land with that down air. The respect that I'm seeing from both of these players is insane. Yeah, they're both playing super patient as that fair is gonna be able to take it here. I'm going for this dash attack into the up air. And the water shuriken going to barely miss because of an up. I like the idea of trying to find a confirm into that F smash, but sadly not going to be able to find it. As Murph is just playing center stage, forcing Dr. Copter in these really uncomfortable situations. Yeah, and he's just forcing Dr. Copter to try and pick options when he doesn't feel safe, like comfortable, as you just said, doing that. Right. Oh, and there's the Hydro Pump. Yeah, and that's, there it is, coming out at the very last second of game one. Now we see it pretty much evened up here. Yeah, Dr. Copter, even though he's he's taken a lot of hits here, he's take although he's taking a lot of hits, he is also dishing out stocks very easily. Yeah. He's making sure to find his openings, but that's 115% to nothing here as these back airs are going to be coming out in full force. But a really, really well placed fair to start off a good combo string. But now we see uh we see Murph have limit here. He has his win condition. He needs to play around it properly. That's right. We can see he's just holding it in, waiting for Dr. Copter to mess up, but Murph ends up being the... Oh! That fair going to be able to take it. Fair, honestly, not a move. Sometimes it, it'll kill Flash a lot, but fair, sometimes not it a just... Move. Not a move, actually. Uh, it's not a move. It's actually... It doesn't exist. Fair is fair. to, you know, play more patient. S sort of force, force, um, force Murph to approach him because Cloud does not want to be approaching in this matchup at no, all. No, he does not. And he's doing an amazing job at keeping Dr. Copter on his toes, making him approach, and we can see it right now. 
as already forcing him in that corner situation after a whiffed dash attack. That is the thing about Greninja is Greninja has very telegraphed approach options. So you yeah. really got to pick and choose when you use them. And if you can just predict when the Greninja is going to go for them, you can just get some pretty easy punishes. And at a certain point, Greninja really only has a few hard, fast kill confirms that will always work. You've got that dash attack fair, and you've got that down tilt up smash. Those are what you're going to be seeing coming out all the time. Now going for that double back air. Trying to find a two frame with that down smash, but not quite going to find it. You know, even though Dr. Copter was in that advantage state for so long, he only the racked up 35%. And that's right, the snipe can be able to take that stock. That yep. F smash, not quite going to be able to take it, but going to try and get that Hydro Pump to push him into that uh, advantage state there, but doesn't quite get it. Oh, up smash, not going to be able to find it. And trying to go for the Shadow Sneak conversion. I like the attempt, but Murph was just not falling for it. Now Limit is on deck once again, using it for that Blade Beam. And a back air, that's no jump, but going high, Dr. Copter realizes, if I go low, I'm going to die. Ooh, goes for the Tomahawk Cross Slash. A really good call out on that roll out there. As we see, Copter honestly playing a little panicked, a little impatient here. And yeah, we just have to see if he can find a way to take this stock. Struggling just a little bit. Cloud is at 142% as Murph is just, he he is not phased. He's like, all right, I'm just gonna wait. I'm gonna charge limit and I'm gonna dash attack and kill you. Yeah, Murph just doing a really good job of just paying patient. And as you see that, the up smash right into that dash grab, you can definitely tell that Copter here is playing in like really, really way too aggressive. Oh yeah, but finally finding it. Going to find that stock, but still two stocks to one and at 40% against Cloud. You've got to find a way to approach when you've got stubby hitboxes against a big sword. And that's going to be very difficult. Yeah. That down throw, dash attack into the air. That drag down going to be a really good option there to try and pull, force out that option. You don't have a jump here. You need to get back to stage safely. And he does so very well. That down still up smash not quite going to kill quite yet. And I like, I'm finally seeing some more confidence come out from Dr. Copter. Like that was a beautiful 114% per almost uncontested, but being put in this disadvantage state, it feels like he can't get anything going as soon as Cloud just gets stage control. And the, sh the counter coming out. Yeah. Absolutely beautiful. That substitute really, really good. Laid, laid in there quite perfectly. That um, that Uppy doing a really good job of just pushing uh, his way out of shield there. That shield looking a little small there. Down tilt into that dra jab lock. F smash not quite going to be able to get what he wants done. Sour spot of that dash attack. Going to get a solid amount of damage. That Those back here is not quite coming out, but that's going to be one right there. It's charging up limit. Tries to go for that downer, not quite going to be able to get it. And the patience coming out from Dr. Copter. Tries to find the fair, would not have secured the stock, but certainly put him in a severe disadvantage state. Dash attack, no fair once again. Risking it with that up smash, but not going to get punished. Limit is still online, so he's got to be very careful. But there it goes, using it for that limit blade beam. Down air. Not good. And the dash that attack dash attack going to yep. be able to do it there. That is going to be Murph taking the set 2-0 over Dr.